I hear you're in town doing a TED Talks. Yes. Talk yeah. about that first and foremost. I ain't know nothing about TED Talk when I was in the joint. Okay. So I come home. Uh, I've been home 20 months. Okay, 20 18. months. All right. That's, that's how doing, people that's say crazy. when they have a baby. Like, how old's your baby? Like 20 months. Like after doing 20 years in prison. <laughs> yeah, almost I mean, two 20 years. Months. That's crazy. You've been home almost two years. I, you did 20, almost 20 years. 20. Wow. Not almost. 20. 20. Uh, armed robbery, firearm violations. I was married to the streets of Philadelphia since I was nine. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a typical dude, you know, in the ghetto, you know, everybody do what everybody do. Uh -huh. I wasn't anybody, but, it, you know, I had to go through some shit to realize that. Uh -huh. uh, you know, and uh, I woke up in prison and realized, damn, I'm in jail for fronting. Mm. <laughs> I'm in jail for fronting and pump faking. Mm -hmm. That's why, I, it, it, you know, I can see it so clearly, you know what I mean, when I'm looking, wherever I'm looking at, you know what I mean? So I was in jail for just, just trying to, you know, you... When you come outside of your house in the ghetto, you understand that attention is God. And the way to gain attention is through materialism. And you got to get that money. Wherever you hustling, wherever you robbing cats, whatever. And I was with all that. You know what I mean? So Because I wanted that attention because being me wasn't cool because I ain't seen nobody around the way being them. You see what I'm saying? And uh, when I woke up in prison one day and I was like, damn, it was hot as shit. It was like summertime. I'm talking no heat in there. I'm talking about... The devil was dancing in the cells. Where were you at? Greatest Ford Penitentiary, uh -huh. Dallas uh -huh. Penitentiary, Camp Hill Penitentiary, uh -huh. Coast, uh, Coast Township, Chester. I was at a bunch of them. Got kicked out. Just want to come to them. But, uh, and I woke up. I'm like, yo, this some real live mess shit. I'm in a cell with another man. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? I'm telling this thing the size of a closet. You know what I mean? It's like, it's real. And I'm like, damn, for, for nothing though. I could have went another route. You see what I'm saying? I really could have. And then when you think about it, you just be like, damn. And then I woke up. I said, I'm done with this shit. And I started breaking my individualism. And I just, you know, I used to always get dudes game in jail. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I came in the penitentiary young, and I seen a lot of OGs. They died in that joint. See, a lot of dudes die, and I became the older cat. So it was my responsibility and my duty to get these young cats that was coming in with all this time, like some game, like, yo, this shit ain't working. And when it was time for me to get out of the penitentiary, like 2013, I got my hands on the cell phone. Mm -hmm. So now I'm sitting in the cell, but before then, I got this thing called the Book of Life where I used to write this stuff down when dudes used to come in, come into jail, like chick, you know, homegirls from down the way or one of my homies, they sons come to the penitentiary. They come to, yo, you know my dad? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. I give them some, you know, give them the care package. But my whole thing was you had to trade something for that. And what you had to trade was I needed information about the free world. See, my whole thing was I wasn't going to be one of these dudes that's going to be in jail just lifting weights, getting super religious and just... It's just about nothing and being jailed out. I needed to know about the free world. So everybody that came to jail that I knew or that I met, I used to be like, what's going on out there? Mm -hmm. And they used to tell me about stuff, and I ain't believe them. So mm -hmm. I used to write stuff down. Like what? What I, didn't you believe? I didn't believe Google. So you used to tell me. You didn't believe Google existed? Like, yeah. No, I didn't believe that you could do what they say you could do. Okay. So I'm like, man, nigga, you tripping, man. So I'll write it down anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, whenever I get home, I got to do this research. Or So one day, I got, I got a cell phone in the joint. Life changed after that. Uh -huh. So when I when I start doing it, I'm like, this shit crazy. I dropped the phone because I couldn't believe that this shit was real. I'm like, right. the feds, this is a setup. They trying to, I, I just didn't believe none of this shit. Because it was just you be when you in prison, you be on dinosaur time. Mm -hmm. Because you're stuck in an era that don't exist no more that you came into prison in. Right. So I'm like, damn, this shit is unbelievable. So I got that. I'm doing it right. Bam. I'm like, damn. Then I got on Instagram because I started Wallow 267. Instagram page in jail. Okay. And while and the 267 on my name come from my prison number. My prison number.